The Art of the Opener Why Introductions Matter Ever get lost in a new city? Frustrating, right? Introductions are like maps for your writing. They guide readers, showing them what to expect and why they should care. Without a good introduction, your brilliant ideas might get lost. Think about your favorite books or articles. What grabbed you from the start? Chances are, the author hooked you with a compelling question, a surprising fact, or a relatable anecdote. They made you curious. They made you want to keep reading. But introductions aren't just for entire pieces of writing. Each section needs its own mini introduction. Why? Because readers need those guideposts along the way. They need to know what each section is about and how it connects to the bigger picture. So how do you write introductions that grab readers and don't let go? That's what we're going to explore in this essay. Get ready to master the art of the opener. Section Introductions Setting the stage for success Each section of your writing is like a new scene in a movie. Just as a director carefully plans each scene to ensure the audience is engaged and follows the storyline, you must do the same with your writing. Imagine a movie suddenly jumping to a different location and time without any context. Confusing, right? This disorientation can break the viewer's immersion and make it hard to follow the plot. That's what it's like for a reader when a new section appears out of the blue. They lose track of the narrative or argument, and their engagement drops. A strong section introduction provides that crucial context. It acts as a bridge, guiding the reader smoothly from one idea to the next. It tells readers where they are in the story or argument. This orientation helps them understand the flow and structure of your writing. It reminds them of the main point and sets the stage for what's to come. This preparation primes the reader for the new information or argument you are about to present. But how do you make these section introductions engaging? How do you capture the reader's attention right from the start? One effective technique is to start with a question. Questions naturally pique curiosity and invite the reader to think. For example, if you're writing about different types of essay introductions, you might ask, ever wonder why some essays grab you from the first sentence while others fall flat? This question immediately engages the reader by addressing a common experience. See what we did there? We posed a relatable question that directly connects to the topic of this section. This technique not only grabs attention, but also sets a clear direction for the discussion. Now, we need to answer it. Providing a compelling answer keeps the reader engaged and satisfies their curiosity. The answer, of course, lies in the importance of crafting compelling introductions that pique the reader's interest and set the tone for the entire piece. A well-crafted introduction can make all the difference in how your writing is received. Before we move on to the next section, which delves into the art of asking effective questions, take a moment to think about your own experiences with section introductions. Reflect on what has worked for you and what hasn't. What makes a section introduction stand out to you? Is it a thought-provoking question, a surprising fact, or a compelling anecdote? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Your insights could help others improve their writing and create more engaging content. Asking the right questions. Engaging your reader's mind. Questions are powerful tools in writing. They have the unique ability to transform a piece of text from a monologue into a dialogue. They transform passive readers into active participants. When readers are asked questions, they are prompted to think, reflect, and engage with the material on a deeper level. When you ask a question, you invite readers to pause, reflect, and come up with their own answers. This process of reflection makes the reading experience more interactive and personal. This makes them feel more involved in the reading process. They are no longer just consuming information, they are actively engaging with it. But not all questions are created equal. Some questions can be too simple or too complex, failing to engage the reader effectively. To truly engage your readers, you need to ask the right questions. These questions should be relevant to the topic, thought-provoking, and maybe even a little bit surprising. These are questions that are relevant to the topic, thought-provoking, and maybe even a little bit surprising. They should challenge the reader to think in new ways and consider different perspectives. Let's say you're writing about the benefits of exercise. You could ask a simple question like, what is exercise? But that might not capture the reader's interest. A rather dull question might be, what is exercise? This question is too basic and doesn't encourage the reader to think deeply about the topic. A more engaging question could be, what if you could improve your mood, boost your energy, and even live longer, all by doing one simple thing? 
This question is intriguing and hints at the benefits of exercise. Do you see the difference? The second question sparks curiosity and hints at the benefits discussed in the section. The second question sparks curiosity and hints at the benefits discussed in the section. It makes the reader want to learn more and find out the answer. It makes the reader want to learn more. They become invested in the topic and are more likely to continue reading to find out the answer. And the answer, of course, is regular exercise. By framing the question in an engaging way, you make the reader more interested in the topic. Asking the right questions is like having a conversation with your reader. You pose a question, provide the answer, and then invite them to share their own thoughts and experiences. You pose a question, provide the answer, and then invite them to share their own thoughts and experiences. This creates a sense of community and encourages readers to engage with the material and with each other. Speaking of which, we'd love to hear from you. What are some of your favorite ways to engage readers with questions in your own writing? What are some of your favorite ways to engage readers with questions in your own writing? Share your insights in the comments. Share your insights in the comments. We look forward to hearing your thoughts and continuing the conversation. Calls to action and surveys. Keeping readers involved. You've crafted engaging introductions, asked thought-provoking questions, and now it's time to take reader engagement to the next level. How? By incorporating calls to action and surveys. Think about your favorite websites or blogs. Do they simply present information or do they encourage you to take action? Maybe they have comment sections, social media sharing buttons, or even quizzes and polls. These are all examples of calls to action. But why are calls to action so important? Because they transform passive readers into active participants. They give readers a way to engage with your content on a deeper level. Instead of just consuming information, they can share their thoughts, contribute to the conversation, and become part of a community. Let's say you're writing about different writing techniques. You could ask your readers, what's your go-to writing tip that helps you overcome writer's block? This simple question encourages readers to share their own experiences and learn from one another. Surveys are another powerful tool for engaging readers. They allow you to gather valuable feedback, understand your audience better, and even tailor your content to their interests. For example, you could create a short survey asking readers what topics they'd like to see covered in future blog posts. We're curious to know how you prefer to interact with online content. Do you enjoy leaving comments, participating in surveys, or sharing articles on social media? Let us know by taking our quick poll below. Your feedback will help us create even more engaging and interactive content in the future. Engaging your readers doesn't stop at just asking questions or creating surveys. It's about building a relationship with them, responding to comments, acknowledging their contributions, and showing appreciation can go a long way in fostering a loyal readership. When readers feel valued and heard, they are more likely to return and engage with your content regularly. Another way to keep readers involved is by involving them in the content creation process. Invite them to submit guest posts, suggest topics, or even collaborate on projects. This not only diversifies your content, but also strengthens the sense of community. Remember, the goal is to create a space where readers feel like they belong and can contribute meaningfully. By consistently engaging with your readers and making them a part of your content journey, you build a vibrant and interactive community. So start incorporating these strategies today and watch your reader engagement soar. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing how you keep your readers involved. Until next time, happy blogging. Conclusion your journey to writing mastery. As we've explored in this essay, mastering the art of writing involves paying attention to every detail, from the overall structure down to the individual sentences. Engaging introductions, both for the entire piece and for each section, are crucial for capturing the reader's attention and guiding them through your ideas. Asking effective questions is another powerful technique for keeping readers engaged. By posing thought-provoking questions, you invite readers to actively participate in the reading process and make connections with the material. And finally, incorporating calls to action and surveys takes reader engagement to a whole new level. These interactive elements transform passive readers into active participants, fostering a sense of community and providing valuable feedback. So as you embark on your writing journey, remember that every word, every sentence, every paragraph is an opportunity to connect with your reader. Craft your introductions with care, 
ask questions that spark curiosity, and don't be afraid to invite your readers to join the conversation. Now, we'd love to hear from you. What is one key takeaway you'll be implementing in your own writing? Share your thoughts in the comments below or participate in our quick survey.